The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm reviewing the Retro Fighters Jab Gamepad. Now this came out a while ago. I actually saw it at a convention years ago, and you know I recently was a supporter of the Kickstarter of the modern N64 controller, and this is the same company, and I thought, well, I probably can get an idea of how the build quality is with the N64 controller based on this controller. So I contacted the company and they graciously sent me a controller to take a look at. And so I took a couple games out of my collection I haven't played in a bit, except for ice hockey, and I uh, wanted to test to see how good this controller is. Let's check it out. So here's the Retro Fighters Jab Gamepad, modern day NES controller. And this is the box that came in. And this is everything that comes with it. Comes with a quick start, kind of a owner's manual, instruction manual, and cool little keychain, and the actual controller itself. And you know, I saw one of these at a show a long time ago, and I've always wanted to check it out. And here it is. And Gonna check a couple games with it. I'm gonna try it on a Nintendo AVS, and I really just wanted to see, just picking three random games, uh, how does it play? And so that's kind of what it looks like. It comes with uh, a long cord, and you're able to hook this up to a PC and play PC and Mac, and a standard Nintendo connection. And so, um, just to put in comparison, this is a Xbox One controller and uh, it looks close again I, I don't have a 360 controller close so I've, uh, I would have shown that too but again um, this controller feels good in the hands definitely definitely has a nice feel to it it's, it's good quality and you know half the reason why I'm doing this review is I want to see this kind of gives me a feel of how the modern day N64 controller, which is on Kickstarter, is, is gonna it's gonna be. And it's got a nice feel to it. Definitely doesn't have a cheap plastic feel. And so the games that I want to play um, that I'm gonna try are Silkworm, RC Pro Am, and my favorite ice hockey. And I just wanted to pick three random games, and I wanted to see how they play with this modern controller. Let's check it out. All right, first time plugging the Retro Fighters modern NES controller into the AVS, and works flawlessly. It's really, really cool. Um, using the control pad or the left analog stick, you can cycle through the options. And let's go ahead and start it. This was the number one game I wanted to test with this controller. I'm a huge fan of RC Pro Am, such a classic rare title, and you know, uh, I thought this is going to be a good fit for this controller with with analog stick. So something I've been wanting to do a long time. I saw this controller at an expo a long time ago, and uh, just wanted to check it out. So yeah, as as I as I predicted. The analog stick's really nice using it for this controller. So, you know, for a lot of people that are already using uh, modern day controllers through emulation, you're like, eh, that's cool. But yeah, this is neat that you can use it for emulation or you can use it for on a classic console. It's really cool. It's nice to have that hybrid. And uh, I'm just, I'm a fan of original hardware and, and the fact that you can take this controller and use it on your original Nintendo. Very cool. I thought I'd play a couple matches here. I just I'm such a fan of this game. I have so many fond memories. I have kind of a beat up copy of this in my in my game collection. You're probably wondering, well, why don't you have a a mint copy? Well, I played this so much at rental stores. I I literally thought I owned the game. I it, I don't know if anybody out there has similar memories, but I did not own this game till way later. And I rented it over and over and over again, and and really appreciated this game. And and I found a copy that was an ex-rental 
copy and and thought oh, it's the perfect copy to have in my collection because it reminds me of the fond the fond memories of me playing a rental copy at you know in Cottonwood, California. That's where my my hometown. And I'll take that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice shot. Yeah, the analog sticks work really good on this. Now, and again, this is this is not a complicated game, but yeah, it's got the nice nice control. Really really like it. All right, you're probably wondering, Silkworm? You know, I just it, it was just on the shelf and I haven't played this in a long time. I also another game that had fond memories of renting and, and appreciating this game and thought you know it's it's a shmup so let's check out and see how it works with this controller so let's go ahead and start it um kind of cool has uh silkworm is kind of a cool if you haven't if you're not familiar with it it's uh you have some different options of, of playing between a heli and a, a jeep and so i'm gonna go ahead and do the helicopter and i'm gonna go ahead and put this turbo on and turbo's okay. I remember this game being pretty hard. So. All right, so I've hit it again. Okay, turbo's working pretty great. And I, it looks great. I'm, you know, playing on the ABS. And if you're looking for a, you know, for a clone console that, that plays nearly everything, the ABS is a, is a great choice. It's, it's not necessarily cheap. And it's, it's not too expensive it is definitely more expensive than um, you know a retron hd um, but it's cheaper than an analog analog console but you know that's kind of the, the rolls royce i guess you could say all right yeah so so turbo is working great um again i'm using the analog stick as well playing this and it 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 plays great i don't feel like i'm Yeah, I remember this being a pretty good shooter, so just wanted to kind of showcase it and uh, give my thoughts about playing this. So I remember this. This is I'm remembering this uh, fondly, and and I didn't I didn't know what to think of it when I first was playing it, but yeah, it's pretty good. It's gonna get harder here. <laughs> That's one thing about these games, especially these shooters. You know, you get all your power ups, and then you then you die, and then it becomes like this. Yeah, I knew I knew that was coming. It's super hard. Boss time, or mini boss. Oh yeah, like that. At least you continue with your guys right there. All right, got it. Too bad I died. Won't won't. Of course we're gonna play ice hockey. One of my favorite Nintendo games. I had to play this game with this controller. Thinking, how well can I move my team around with these analog sticks? All right. Everybody's got their own recipe for what they want to do. Sometimes two mediums, skinny. And, uh, yeah. John. All right. 
I love ice hockey. Uh, huge fan, if you don't know. It's a just a, a nest staple that you must have in your collection. It's an example, you know, to me it's it plays like like an evolution of Pong. You know, it's just it's everything that made video games fun. I can't believe I didn't get that goal. Um so back to Ness Ice Aki, which is playing awesome in this in this uh, with this controller. Definitely. But yeah. Oh yeah, take that. So I'm mostly using the control pad, and I don't know why. Um, it's not that the analog stick is bad or anything. I just I played so much of this with the control pad. I'm finding that it is a little bit easier to play with the control pad. And part of that is, you know, I've played this game a lot. Such a classic. Oh, oh come on, take that. Yeah, take that. So there you have it. This is pretty much readily available. eBay, Amazon. I'll put a link below to an Amazon site that has it for $24.99. And it's pretty good. Is it going to replace the original Nintendo controller? Probably not. But for people that grew up maybe after Nintendo or, or like the feel of a modern controller, this is cool. And the cool thing about this is that it works on PC, Mac, and Nintendo, and a lot of the clone consoles. Tested it on the AVS and it was great. I didn't have time to test it on some of the other clone consoles, but I'm sure it's going to work on most of them. Thank you so much for watching any of my videos. Comments, likes, and subscriptions totally helped me. On my race to 50,000 subs. Dun dun dun! I also have a Patreon in which for as little as a dollar a month you get an exclusive video. My hat's off to people around the world. You're beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. Take care.